Hello Alice and thank you for joining us this afternoon. We're really excited to hear about some of your experiences with the Minimed 670G system. Can I get you first of all just to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so I'm 25 and I was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of 11. Um, I've been on insulin pump therapy for, only for about the last 12 years and I went on the 670G system um, back in about a year ago. So Alice, now that you're on the 670G, can you tell us your day-to-day -day experience of living with that technology? Overall, it's been a really positive experience. So previous models weren't nearly as sort of hands-on and proactive as the 670G system. Um, it takes a lot of the day-to-day -day management of, what, of, of diabetes and the general worry away. And um, it just makes day-to-day -day management a lot easier overall. I'm really pleased with it. Did the 670G manage your expectations? Completely exceeded them, to be honest with you. Um, it's just been a fantastic opportunity to just have a much more flexible lifestyle. Um, exercise in particular, I've found, has been um, really beneficial on the 670G system um, because, to be honest, I used to find that on previous models, I wasn't nearly as sort of proactive in going to the gym, doing that exercise, because it often used to be a lot of work for nothing, um, just because there was so much preparation that went into it, and nine times out of 10, it didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Whereas now with the 670G system, um, having that temporary target just means that the pump is much more um, sort of proactive in ensuring that you stay in that top range. And um, yeah, it just it works a lot more effectively than previous models and goes a uh, goes less wrong <laughs> more often, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> That's really good because exercise can be really tricky to manage. Yeah. So tell us a little bit more about how you use the system day to day and what difference it's made. So I work um, in quite an operational role in a museum, so I deliver a lot of presentations to groups and there are periods where I'm talking for an hour at a time. And on previous models, I used to be a bit worried because I, there was never really that assurance that I was going to sort of stay in a suitable range and I could have dipped and gone low or ended up going a bit too high. But with the um, 670G system, it's just that um, I just find things a lot easier and there's much more sort of micromanagement going on where you're not sort of going too high or too low and it's just a lot more reliable really, I tend to find, so it's, it's really good. So a lot of my patients often find um, that they can exit from the system Tell us about your experiences at exits and what you do in those circumstances. Sometimes I think you can feel like it's a bit of a knee-jerk reaction where you think, oh God, I've got to do something really quickly. Um, but it's not meant to fill your heart with panic. You know, I think it's just meant to say that there's something you've got to do. You've just got to check the auto mode re readiness screen and just ensure that you follow the steps that the pump tells you to do to then ensure that you get back into auto mode with minimal glitches. Okay, brilliant. Um, so some of my patients in clinic get a little bit confused about when the system asks for a blood glucose level or when it asks for calibrations. So BGs I tend to do around meal times and then calibrations are what I tend to do when my levels are stable and aren't changing rapidly. So I think it's important to try and differentiate between the two um, to sort of avoid getting tied up in sort of the small intricacies of it all. So like I say, with calibrations, I tend to do something when I just wake up, mm -hmm. because I tend to be nice and stable overnight, courtesy of the 670G. Um, and then I'll, I'll do something maybe sort of in the mid afternoon, maybe once things have sort of settled down a little bit. And then again, just before bed, um, because that's when I tend to be stable again as well. Um, so if my, if my levels are changing rapidly, I tend to stay away from doing uh, calibrations then because that's when it tends to confuse the transmitter and things are more likely to then confuse the 670G system and then go into sort of calibrations not being accepted and things. Um, so yeah, it's just trying to pick your moments mm. basically. And the transition over to the 670 from your, your older system, how was that and you know what support mechanisms were there for you? So in terms of transitioning over, because there is a very different feel to some of the settings in the pump, um, because of the auto mode, for example, that's a completely new feature that hasn't been on previous models before. Um, sometimes just getting your way, finding your way around the menu um, took a little bit of getting used to, but that's just the same with any new technology, isn't it really? It just takes a little bit of working it out for yourself. Um, but I was also quite fortunate in that um, there was the Start Right program as well, which allowed um, sort of courtesy calls on a regular basis just to make sure that I was getting to grips with the system okay and to go through any troubleshooting problems that I had. Um, so that was a very nice um, feature to have because you know it just helped you find your feet a little bit more and um, 
it was it was a helpful thing to know was there and available if you needed it. Excellent. So that's really important, isn't it, in those early stages? Yeah. So just thinking about our patients who are just about to go on to the 670G system or about to start, what tips would you give someone who's just about to start on the 670G system? I think one of the big things is just to persevere with it and just be patient because it is a completely new set of technology that you haven't had anything like before. Um, you basically just get into it, you get out of it, sorry, what you put into it. So the perseverance does pay off and try not to sort of lose sight of the fact that it can be a bit confusing at first, but the more you use it, the easier it gets and you can get re the rewards with a bit of perseverance at the same time. <laughs> Excellent. And where would you advise them to go for help? So your healthcare support team are always on hand um, to answer any questions that you've got. Um, alternatively, I suppose you can always contact Medtronic themselves on their helpline because they've got a very friendly um, staff on hand there to walk you through any steps where you're unfamiliar with the process. Can you summarise your experience, Alice, with the 670G system? That it's a fantastic piece of um, equipment that really helps get a lot of your Sort of flexibility back um, in terms of just your day-to-day -day management with diabetes. Um, I've found it really helpful and would highly recommend it. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you so much, Alice. That's been really helpful. Just having that insight from someone that's using that system day-to-day, -day, it's been brilliant. Thanks ever so much. Thank you. <laughs>